Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I have another pickups video for you here. This one's pretty awesome, actually. Quite a few good things in there. Uh, nothing, you know, super rare or anything like that, I don't think. But you can let me know because there's some Game Boy stuff in here that I don't know a whole lot about necessarily. But I decided to pick this stuff up anyways. Uh, to start with, I'll take a look at uh, my first stop, which was a Goodwill right by where I work, which is pretty wicked. Um, I went in there. And it was half price day, which is pretty awesome. Um, the other day I scored a lot of Xbox 360 games there, and I left a few Xbox 360 games behind there as well that I really didn't uh, need today. First thing though, um, I was going through their games, and these two uh, games right here, when I opened them up, their discs were uh, completely destroyed. So they, well, I would say completely destroyed. They had cracks in them and stuff like that, so cracked discs. Uh, really won't play. So I showed that to the lady. I said, look, no, no one's going to buy these, or if they do, they're not going to be able to play them. So she took the discs out of them, chucked them out, and then I asked her if I could have the uh, two cases that were there. So she didn't charge me anything for them, so that's wicked. Uh, moving on, I bought a whole ton of games from there. Starting off, I bought The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, this one here was two bucks, and it's totally complete and it's in really good shape. It's got a lot of stickers and stuff on it, but that'll clean up perfectly fine. It's really the rest of it that matters. The disc's a little dirty, but pretty much mint. So that's awesome right there for two bucks. I also picked up a copy of uh, The Return of the King from the same place. Again, $2 for this one. It's totally complete. And the disc is, well, it's a little bit scratched up or whatever, but I'm sure it'll play. If it doesn't, I can always resurface it. Um, but a complete copy of that for two bucks is not bad at all. Next part moves into the Xbox 360 games. Uh, the first one here that I picked up was Connect Adventures. I figured I'd buy this one uh, just in case I run across a Connect one of these days. Um, I do have one for myself, but if I run across a Connect and, uh, and um, you know, need a game to go with it, this is usually the one that packs in with it. So it's all complete as well, or I probably wouldn't have bought this. And uh, the disc is like absolutely perfect, probably because the person likely didn't play it that much. So, there's that right there, so again, that one, um, this one was a little bit more, this is $2.50, but still for a 360 title, $2.50 isn't really that bad at all. Uh, moving along, I also bought Face Breaker, again, $2.50, it's also um, complete, the manual here is a little bit um, warped or something like that, but otherwise, it's in really good shape, the disc is, although dirty, um, in perfect shape, so that's pretty awesome right there. It looks like a fun uh, boxing title. Might be sort of similar to Ready to Rumble kind of boxing. I don't know a lot about the Space Breaker game, but it looks very cartoony and a lot of fun. Uh, another game that I picked up, and this one probably for resale because I'm not really that interested in uh, this kind of sports title, but I thought for $2.50 I would. It's FIFA Street 3. I know these street games kind of are a little more interesting, I think, for people, so I thought I would pick this guy up. And it is also in pretty decent shape. It's a little bit dirty. You can see the fingerprints on it there, but otherwise pretty good. And for $2.50, I figured why not? Uh, one that I actually saw yesterday, and I didn't bother to pick it up for $4 yesterday, but um, I probably could have and it would still be worth it, uh, but I thought I'd leave it there, and this time around I went for it because it was only $2, and it's Rainbow Six Vegas, and it's also complete, and the disc is pretty good, I mean it needs to be cleaned up definitely just like the other ones, but yeah, it's pretty decent right there, and for $2. I couldn't leave it sitting there. Um, I don't know if this is a great title necessarily. I haven't, didn't really follow the Rainbow Six things uh, past the original Xbox, so something I'll get to check out and didn't have it in the collection, so that's pretty fun right there. And then the last one that I picked up from there, and this is only from one store, mind you. I picked up all that stuff, so it's pretty wicked. Um, is also this game right here, which I believe I already have in my collection, but mine's a little bit like beat up in the sense that the bottom of the disc isn't perfect or anything like that. This one isn't perfect either, but it's definitely better than the one I have. So I'll probably end up um, taking the disc out of this one and replacing the one that I have with it, but uh, selling off my other one. And it's uh, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. This is also complete. 
as well. And like I was saying, the disc on this one is not really the world's greatest necessarily. It's better than the one that I have. It's more dirt than anything else that you can see it off of there. But uh, there are a few scratches and things like that. But otherwise, it should be better than the one I have, although both of them do play. So I'm not overly concerned about it. I just really like these LEGO games. Couldn't leave it behind. Uh, keeps getting better. Uh, moved on, and I went to a another value village, or I went to a, val a value village, and I found this game right here, which is Dirt for the Xbox 360. Um, this one here was five dollars, so a little bit more than the other ones, because you know they weren't having any, any sales or anything like that going on. But it's totally complete, and uh, this one here is absolutely mint, or I probably wouldn't have bought it. I'll probably end up uh, trading this game off, I'm not really that interested in it, but I think it's probably worth more than 5 bucks, so I decided to grab it. The next thing is I went to um, a Talese, but I will save that for later because I think it's the most interesting stuff because it's more retro, so I'll save that for the end. I went to a Nether Goodwill, which is also having a half price day. And I picked up a couple of titles that I actually left behind there yesterday. I did see them there, but I wasn't going to buy them. They wanted 404 for them. Uh, the first one here is NFL Quarterback Club 98. Because it was half price, this is only 202. So I thought I would pick this guy up. And then the last one is WWF Warzone, also for uh, $2.02. .02. I thought I would pick that up. So pretty sweet right there for a couple of bucks, uh, getting some, you know. Uh, N64 ones and the back on this one here is pretty decent so I'll probably end up swapping that out on something that needs a back upgrade because this one's like mint which is really nice so pretty sweet deal right there I also found a copy of a game that I just can't um, avoid or something like that it seems to be everywhere every time I find PlayStation stuff I seem to find this game a lot uh, more so than any other game uh, maybe the other one would be like Gran Turismo or Gran Turismo 2, I find those a lot too. But it's Frogger, and every time I see this, I love this game so much I just keep picking it up. Um, you know, not not too bad though really, I mean I paid $1.50 for it. So it's definitely worth the investment, and that disc is definitely excellent, so I will have to check mine and just see what kind of condition it's in. Hopefully this will be a disc upgrade for me. Uh, moving on. I also left this behind yesterday, but decided to pick it up today. It's 50 cent bulletproof. Um, it's just ridiculous, so I thought I'd pick it up. I don't know how good this game is. Not something that I was, you know, really interested in. But uh, there it is, it's complete. And the disc is pretty reasonable, like it's in pretty good shape. I think it just needs to be cleaned up. So there's that there. I mean, two dollars, like. It wasn't going to leave it behind even if it's for the case. I don't really know a whole lot about this title though. You can tell me. Um, always liked the Siphon Filter game so I decided to get this one too. Uh, Siphon Filter the Omega Strain. I didn't have this one in my collection yet so thought I would pick it up. And I paid two dollars for this one as well. It's also complete. And uh, the disc on this one is I believe pretty decent as well. Yeah, it is. It's pretty awesome right there. So nice, nice condition. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't, uh, but really good find there for a couple of bucks. The last game that I picked up from that particular Goodwill is actually probably the find of the day now. It's uh, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. And I know this game has some value, so I thought I would pick it up. It's $2.50. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to, uh, you know, trade it off or sell it kind of thing but a uh, pretty cool find right there and it's totally complete as well the disc on this one I think needs a little bit of love though it needs some cleaning definitely but it has a few scratches like you can see a scratch right there so I don't know if that makes it unplayable or not um, if it does I'll try the skip doctor on it and just see if it um, fixes up that problem but for $2.50 I thought that was a pretty decent find I think it's probably the find of the day as far as value goes. Uh, moving on, and actually moving back, I walked into the Talese today, and I was really surprised to find this because I knew that um, other people that watch my channel here and are uh, video game hunters as well, they'd already dropped by that location um, today. And still, for some reason, I don't know if they missed this or if this was not out yet when they went, 
uh, but it was definitely there when I got there. So I decided to pick it up. A couple, just start off with a couple of Game Boy games, and these were ten bucks. So I was kind of hesitant on these ones. I probably should not have bought these for ten bucks, but you know, I I really hadn't seen them before, and I didn't know a whole lot about them. So you know, in retrospect, I might have. We'll see what happens, anyways. I don't know. We're gonna see what this is. What this is worth. So. Uh, the first one here is Star Wars Yoda Stories, and that's for the Game Boy. It's kind of beat up, but it really just needs to be cleaned up for the most part. And then uh, this one here was the reason why I bought this for 10 bucks, and I'm hoping it's well worth the investment. Uh, it's Metroid 2, so that's pretty awesome right there. It's not in the world's greatest shape, but hopefully it'll clean up nicely just like this one here. Uh, so pretty awesome right there. And then moving on, I picked up another set of Game Boy games. This one here, for some reason, is only $7.99. There's three games in it, so I'm not sure why there's a price discrepancy where you're getting two games for 10 and then three games for eight, but we'll see anyways. Uh, the first one here is Blade. That's for the Game Boy Color. And then uh, Robocop 2. This one also is a Game Boy Color game, Turok 3. So for $7.99, those three games, I thought that was a pretty good deal. I mean, it's a couple dollars a game, so can't really beat that price, I don't think. And then the last bundle, I think, was probably the best bundle of the whole thing. It's the same kind of idea. It is uh, $7.99, this one right here, and it contains three uh, Game Boy slash Game Boy Color type games. The first one I'll show you here, if I can actually get it out of the bag, is DuckTales. And I already have this game, but this one's in better condition because the one I have, the label was peeling up there and someone had to put a piece of tape over it to keep it down. So this is actually in better shape, so this will be a label upgrade for me and I'll be able to sell the other one off. And then moving on, I also got a copy of Power Rangers Time Force. Don't know a whole lot about this title, but I will probably end up uh, trading this one off as well. But the next one I'm definitely going to keep. I don't know a whole lot about it because I didn't have a Game Boy Color back in the day, but it seems pretty cool. It's Mega Man Extreme, and uh, I'll probably be holding on to this one. But I thought for you know seven dollars and ninety nine cents, that's a pretty good deal right there. Those three titles. Um, so all around. You know, it's about $25, $26 basically for um, those, let's see, what do I got here? Uh, six for eight of the titles. I actually left a couple behind. There is a copy of uh, Tony Hawk and I think it's Spy vs. Spy or something like that, which are also Game Boy Color games there as well. So um, I didn't take everything that they had because I didn't really want those titles, but uh, each one of these three kind of sets had something I was interested in, so I thought I would pick those up. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.